Stargates upgrade. So this is the week that is taking us deeper in into the different Stargates. So we had the Sirius portal going on and now we're going through all the others right into the Lion's Gate. And what does that all mean energetically for us? It means we're going more within and it's like the vortex of these Stargates are taking us into ourselves and yes it is the heart and the heart is connected to the cosmic heart to the rhythms of evolution of ascension and it is in a way also the portal into new earth and so it's a very exciting time you may be struggling and i am too because we are in this together the difference is how much consciousness do you have and how much choice do you have access to? How much are your mind games are controlling you and how much can you be aware of your mind ga games and control and make a different choice? This, this is really the point. Now, this star gates that we are experiencing now in that second week of July is very exciting. It gives us that tools, it gives us also that access and that activation into Homo Luminous. I have a friend, I love him dearly. And he can be a bit dramatic because I'm not so dramatic. For me, it's just letting go the end of a time and I, I flow with it. I can get stuck too, but not to that extent. And he talks about a lot of extinction and end of the world and all of that. And of course, all of this is true. What is an extinction is the Homo sapiens. Just like the Anatols were extinct long time ago and whatever was in between, Homo sapiens are going to be extinct. No longer can we live in separation from nature. No longer can we live in harm and not in harmony. No longer can we be disconnected from self. The cosmos, you and I, creator, set it up that way. And it's a good thing. I've always been very connected to the British philosopher Karl Popper. I don't pretend I understand everything he's talking about. I tap into the, the knowing and the wisdom that comes through him or came through him. He already passed. And it's a little bit like this bombshell. Now, the way he maybe interprets it and the way I interpret it may be different. It's not about a big explosion. It's possibly more an implosion. When a bombshell gets tight, it breaks. We could look at this current state of the world and the Homo sapiens that are connected to that old world what you call 3D, matrix, whatever. It is just at the end of its time and it is breaking. And yes, it is an ext extinction event. And uh, Bruce Lipton was also saying that back in 2020. And many, Greg Braden and all these great guys, they're still talking about an extinction event. And it comes more clear to me now as I'm tuning into these portals. I feel like I'm constantly in the portals. It's that multidimensional experience that I'm able to enjoy. It feels more clear. It's that kind of an extinction. It's a breaking of a bombshell. But what happens if we look at the symbolic side of it? Because this is what Popper is all about. This is what I'm all about. If we look at the metaphor it means that something needs to break free. So take the danger of a bomb and take all of that away. Something needs to come out. It is no different from the metamorphosis of the dragonfly hanging on the tree and trusting that whatever comes out, unknown to that little nymph that decided to hang on the tree, it's the same with the bombshell. And we just don't know what comes next. There's no way of controlling. There's no way of Predicting, predicting, but there is a way of knowing. And 
that knowing is that once that is broken and once we are free, we are able to see new horizons. And this is what Popper also talks about. And now I'm coming with my own interpretation again. New horizons of understanding, new octaves of consciousness, new states of being or beingness, new vibrations. In our dual mind, which is the energy of the of the brain, if you wish. It's the brain waves and how we choose to think and all of that. So in our mind, we are still, of course, very homo sapien. It will take a bit of time, but it will be fast, relatively considering millions of years of evolution, right? It will take a bit of time to step out of the high and low and deep and su superficial and all of that. So that binary concepts of, of dual ideas. But as we are allowing and choosing consciously the higher frequency, in a way, the concepts of high and low and deep and shallow will actually vanish. We are not quite there yet, so bear with me. However, of course, in Advaita, we already been there, if you you understand how I'm trying to convey that to you. Ramana Maharashi in, in, in his genius and his ability to tap in states of enlightenment and vibration that constantly allowed him to be in the I am presence is that. The difference that we are experiencing now is that we will be able to access this collectively and this is the new earth so collectively we are connected to have this amazing experience and i'm very clear this stargates these portals into the lion's gate this july this week that's actually unfolding for us this is when it's happening it doesn't mean you can't access it later but this is the first time we can access that and it also takes us, of course, beyond the timelines, very clearly. It also takes us into the cosmic heart. And if you listen to my meditation on Tuesday, you already know about that. So yes, the energies are very exciting. I'm really inviting you to enjoy those energies. There's no use fighting. There is no use running away. There is no use to close your eyes and close your ears. It's just like that. The heavy energies and the dense energies, they will be broken in the bombshell when it's finally fully breaking open. It's a little bit also like an egg. You know, if you take the beautiful tuatara or if you take a turtle, when, when that shell cracks, it's more that kind of shell. When that cracks and the actual beautiful animal comes out, this is a bit like that. And after a while, we will totally forget that experience that we had living in that 3D, in that matrix. It's just a very natural journey and process. And if we go back to the metaphor of the dragonfly, it's just that coming out, changing from one state of being into a totally different state of being. And it is a little bit like that from living in a river and I think they're even blind. Hanging on a tree and coming out with an amazing vision and ability to fly. This ascension, this evolution is a little bit like that. And this time, we have these portals every year, obviously. But this time, 2024, is taking us there. So I just want to invite you, actually, to be part of this. So this is the energy upgrade of, of this week. And I need to look at the dates because, you know, dates is not really my expertise. But it must be... It goes into July 8th for sure. This is where we are at. And really, the, the core energy 
is around July 7th and 8th. There's still other portals that are coming through, but this is this is the core energy and this is the week that we're speaking about. So what is the, the sound bridge, the light language I'm bringing for you today? It is just connecting you to that. It is just connecting you to the stargates and portals and to get a feel for it and to start feeling comfortable with that breaking of the old world as we know it. You're also leaving all the drama triangles and the sabotage roles and the self-sabotaging and the suffering. You're leaving all of that. It's a time for celebration. It's a time for graduation. So the sound bridge today takes you into that ability to see and hopefully your choice. Of course, there is so much that I can do in a sound bridge. I can surely take you there energetically, vibrationally and all of that and into that state of being. How much you can, however, live it and integrate it. As I said, how Ramana Maharishi lived in that consciousness, in that I am consciousness. That is always a different question. It takes praxis, it takes a bit more. But at least when you get a taste, it might be easier for you to imagine it from the heart, to co-create it, to manifest it. If you want to go deeper, you know the heart fire retreats are on. Three more dates are available in October for Sicily. And after and a little bit before, we can also do it here in the jungle. And in general, both Anna Cecilia and I, we are getting a stronger sense of this work, which is not a work because it's what we love. It's what we are designed for. This is what we hear as well. So let's go into that bridge for you to get that access, that sense of what it is like to live in that state, to, to be in that vibration. All right, let me get into it for you and bring through the frequencies. Obviously, there's series coming on very strongly, but also the Lion's Gate and the other portals that are opening up. Tara me tara me tara tara me no Karimena Tora me ho 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 Nare 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 no Clari clari yo ma Chari chari mena ho Karama te rama koya naya So just enjoy that to see what comes through to you. And of course, I'm always keen to hear about it. Write it in the comments, put that like, subscribe. Why not? Why not being a community on this journey together? And we are really happy to be that bridge to new earth. It means much more than that, but somehow you need a name. And I'm very grateful that you are here. And sometimes I forget to tell you that it's great to be with you in this and if you are still here then thank you so much much love from my heart to yours